Hi guys, it is another cloudy, gloomy, but at least warm and balmy <clears throat> day here in the end times in paradise in Garfield, Texas. So uh, I need to dive in to my weekly climate change, my two-part climate change meltdown roundup rant here on this 80 degree February day. Wednesday, February 28th, 2018. Before I do that, <clears throat> simply dive into my Humpty Dumpty Tribe mailbag for the comment of the day. And we're actually going to go out to LA and hear from a couple of my Humpty Dumpty Tribe lieutenants out there in LA, Brother Groot and Brother Pukaloo weighing in uh, there one of good god how many comments do i have on the interview with ut journalism professor robert jensen and i don't mind saying guys i'm pretty proud of this interview well it's nothing to do with me it has all to do with him uh if you have not heard the robert jensen interview that i posted last night uh robert jensen more than any human being I have ever had the honor and pleasure of having a conversation with, spelled out in one hour everything I have been trying to say on this channel for the past eight years. He distilled and articulated everything that is wrong with this planet. And... Uh, what the hell we're supposed to do about it. Uh, anyway, I'm uh, very proud of that interview. I hope you can go over there and listen to it. So let's see here what Brother Groot <clears throat> has to say about it. Hambone, or my guru, thanks for your puny channel. <laughs> thanks for your puny channel for giving your opinion to your tribes members on what's to come never giving a timeline, just being a messenger. Kudos to you also, Robert Jensen, on your opinion, which I agree with you and understand your points. Now, my opinion. It's all about math, and we are now in the beginning of the twilight zone of what is to come. All climate change is a whole bunch of little cuts to our planet with the math saying or said in 2018 the cuts will really start the bleeding bad this year with no going back here is my math 2050 will have more plastic in the ocean than fish and today we are raking our oceans more than land for, re for resources. Plus, the oceans are not a carbon sink anymore, just like the Amazon rainforest. Let's get real. We know nothing about our oceans. Just in the beginning of last century, it was poor man's protein. Let's see what happens with every new day bringing with it a faster business as usual raping the oceans comes to last words the oceans die i think the oceans will be the first to die the first i guess he means the i i i, I don't know the first what to die great uh oh i say before us <clears throat> i think the oceans will be the first to die and we are not far behind. Yep, uh, blah, blah, blah. Time to get real on what you want to believe. Starting the 2018 year above freezing in the North Pole with no sun in the dead of winter. First time ever. Welcome to the new Twilight Zone today and part one of my uh, climate change meltdown roundup rant coming up in one minute 
will uh, be this story uh, about what's going on up in uh, the Arctic, up in the North Pole uh, this week. Guys, this really could be the beginning of the end. Uh, anyway, before I dive head up to the North Pole, let's stay out there in, uh, in Southern California and hear from Pukaloo talking about the Robert Jensen interview. And again, not to offend anybody else I have ever interviewed in my Voices of the Doomosphere, but uh, I, I do agree with every word Pukaloo is saying here. <clears throat> this is one of the best interviews yet and probably will be an all-time great in your series of Voices from the Doomosphere. Robert Jensen speaks as eloquently as he, as he writes. <clears throat> For example, as much as I like Paul, uh, I have yet to disagree with him and I'm only halfway through the video. For example, as much as I like Paul Beckwith and his three-legged bar stool approach to combating climate change, I very much doubt that human beings can do much of anything to change their current trajectory short of deliberately reducing their numbers. Robert Jetson seems to agree with Einstein that using the same kind of thinking that got you into a quandary is unlikely to produce a solution to that quandary. Robert Jensen often sounds quite similar to Richard Heinberg, and Jensen also agrees with Morris Berman that capitalism itself will simply not exist for much longer. In Morris Berman's case, I have uh, tried to contact Morris Berman uh, for an interview. He has not accepted my invitation, by the way. In, Mar in Morris Berman's case, he gives capitalism until the end of the 21st century. This is a very complicated issue because many other things are going to be changing over the next 82 years. Sea levels will be higher. Many coastal cities will be gone. Species will have disappeared. The climate will be warmer. There may, there may be no ice at all in the Arctic. Industrial civilization will be severely reduced. Global human population will be severely reduced, etc. Living with grief and living through grief is something that Carolyn Baker has become an expert in. Carolyn was the very first uh, Voices of the Doomosphere I ever had. You, know, I, you can find that video somewhere, my interview with Carolyn Baker. Once you understand humanity's trajectory, you simply cannot go backwards and return to a state of ignorance. And if you attempt to deny what you have learned, you will become insane. Okay, I've now listened to all of it. You may never have a better interview as long as Humpty Dumpty Tribe exists. Well, of course, uh, that's, uh, that little uh, statement, as long as Humpty Dumpty Tribe exists, uh, Guys, it is the handwriting is on the wall. That Humpty Dumpty tribe is on its way out. So I am madly uh, moving this channel over to Vimeo, over to BitChute, over to some uh, outfit called something like DShoot. Anyway, uh, the Sword of Damocles is hanging over Humpty Dumpty Tribe and the voices of the Doomosphere and everything else. And uh, all I can say, guys, if you want to stick with me, uh, because it's going to go 
and, and there's nothing, I'm not going to be able to get a message out. So please, if, you're, if you have any interest uh, of, st of sticking around, go over to the Hambone Little Tail channel at Vimeo.com or BitChute.com for now and, um, and sign up with that channel so when Humpty Dumpty Tribe is uh, axed by YouTube, uh, I will have somewhere to start. And uh, I need to get this message out every day. With that, I'm going to come back with you with my two-part climate change meltdown roundup rant. Part one, going up to the North Pole. Bye, guys.